Take Me Back to Eden by Sleep Token has now been out for a week and I finally get to listen to it. So a week ago, I went on holiday for the weekend and then I got a cold and I lost my voice. And it's, it's still kind of not quite right, but I can't wait any longer. I have to listen to this record. Oh, I didn't want to record a reaction but I couldn't speak. So I patiently waited and now it is time. I've got an old fashioned and I've got a, a Maker's Mark and Coke. They're gonna be keeping me company as I check out an album I'm really excited to hear because I loved, I've loved everything they've done, frankly. All the singles have been great off this record, but everything they've done since many years ago, I've been a fan of. So this is exciting stuff. Oh, my wife makes an excellent old fashioned. Okay, I can listen to the whole album to get the full experience, even the ones I've already heard before. If you want to see my first time reactions to the singles, you can find them on the channel. But uh, yeah, I want the whole album in one go. I will be probably not pressing pause at any point. I'm just gonna go and listen and then attempt to point out some things I notice as I go along and then I have a full kind of recap at the end. <clears throat> and let's see if my voice will last. I'm excited. And go. Oh, this is gonna be a journey. It's a great opener. Sort of strange and twisted. When we were made. There was no accident. We This note. Amazing bands. A sacred got the end. Just knowing the heaviness that comes later, this is just so you perfect. Beautiful. And in comes Vessel 2 on the trigger pads, right? You got me in a choke hold. Subtle vocals in the background, there's some backing. Adds a lot. Added there. Slightly different rhythmic addition. Locks you in a bit more. And then back to that beginning, just simple with that strange guitar. Lovely shuffle on the drums. It's a beautiful pace. It's not rushing. Mm. So controlled in this bit. The speed up of that rhythm. That's fucking brilliant. Really gentle drum fill. Oh man, I'm so excited for the rest of this record. Now 
God, a masterpiece. It just builds effortlessly. lyrics of ever. It holds this forever. <laughs> and that extra breath, that haunting. It's fucking so cool. Chill cold, what an opener. The summoning <laughs> is a beast. The like tranquil, nice, spa like. And then the drums. I've heard this song so much now. I still got lost in the syncopation at the start. Love those bends on his vocal. I can play drums like this, fella. Just no business being this heavy. It's just a guitar, but there's also this kind of background layer as well. It's pretty subtle. Lovely Dire Straits guitar solo. Oh, the way it ascends like that. It's that play between the beautiful high vocals and the heavy guitars and then this. Okay, just to back at the piano come through. Normally I'd be irritated by this section. It's so long. There's no rhythm. 
for ages. But because of the sexy funkiness that's coming, it's all fine. No one saw the next section coming. No one. It was so wild. Such a gear shift. You think this will just go to nice atmospheric sounds? Then maybe, maybe finish. Not go to Funkin' Town. I'm appreciating the piano bit in this more on extra listens. Beautiful. Specific hi hat hits and gaps. What choices? When they were recording this, they knew people are gonna lose their minds. Consistency here because of the it's that ride keeps it all going. Additional guitar. Incredible masterpiece again. Amazing. This might be my favorite of the singles. This one's so cool. So far. On your breath, granted, of that muffled keyboard. We'll never have to talk about Unless it's a bass. We'll never want to talk about I think it's a keyboard. Such a unique voice. It's got a thousand layers in it. Love the rhythm. That little gap makes it. Little harmony. Higher. Then this bit. Ah, oh, makes me feel sexy. Which I rarely do. Huh. Killer lines. I just love the fucking R&B of it. And then this. And then the phrase continues. Beyond the expected pattern. Fuck it. Sort of 
casually swells a bit there. And then we're going to taper. You can have no idea on first listen what's coming. Just a slight swell of a synth. And then there's a gap, right? Drum fills. Clicks? <laughs> okay. Now they're sending. So it's the same vocal chorus melody. Over the heaviness to add a different dynamic to it. Endlessly satisfying placement of the groove. Such a simple structure, but it's just the patterns, they're so satisfying. This song live is excellent. It really shines live, more so than I think on the record. Vessel commands this one with a real presence on stage. Interesting choice of the production. They've never had a hey repeated like that before. It's such a pop RB thing to do. They clearly listen to everything. Space. Now the drums are more full here. A call from a little high as ringing off the hook. But again, the pain gaps in it. I'm stuck in a time where the mountain shirt. These days I'm a picture frame, screaming out the sunshine, singing in the a beautiful mix. background chatter like we're in a jazz club. You need some intimate headphones to hear it. Gorgeous piano play. This bit's almost Craig David like, all right? No wonder my ears are still ringing. Better voice, though, I think. And I, I, I am done fighting off change. No Small backing vocal that he's added. Still swinging.
On the ride there, all the off beats were quieter than the on beats. To kind of hammer home the rhythm, but adds a doubled effect to it. It's nice. This song is pretty intense. I've since learned that this is probably the guitarist doing the scream vocals here. Certainly live, does it? <laughs> Those kicks. The symbols are really interesting here. There's flashes that stand out. The rest, I guess, is a wash. really go on for a while in this. Oh. The fullness of that sound. Whatever the bass is doing to support it, it's beautiful. Oh. And that layer of vessels vocals at the top. Oh man. They love to allow such space. Understand tension. Oh. It's quite gorgeous. And holding on to that same note. such a mood to it. It's like a calm aggression. Quite something. Getting excited. The next song I've never heard before. Ascensionism. keyboard chords supporting this and then I gently one over the top doing the melody and this instrument is so interesting It's a shame that not every song has got a visualization for it as yet. That would've been cool. They're awesome. Very Deftones guitar chords there. The 
always works is because the hardest snare hit is so reliable, despite the busyness of everything else. Then it fades out. Like the song itself is being swallowed whole. Maybe that's why. Okay. Ascensionism. What are you? Other than seven minutes long. I sit up in my chair and I'm excited. Beautiful. Too beautiful. Not sure I can handle it. Oh. Mm. All these well, notes. I know what you want. Oh, it's beautiful. From me. So sad. You want someone to be. Your reflection, your bitter deception, setting you free. That vocal recording is amazing. Who made you like this? Who encrypted your dark gospel and body language? Wow. That's so different. What the fuck? Tell me you met me in past lives, past life, past what might be leading me from the inside. This is a choice. That was nice, that production bit. What the fuck is going on? Good lord. They're showing everyone how this should be done. There's a haunting keyboard in the background. The piano. I love the melody progression. And the way it rolls. not expecting them to play in this realm but they do what they want that piano is becoming more prominent in the mix because everything else is slow for that off big Yes <laughs> Oh 
They're just tickling me now. Mm. Oh my god. Hello. Yikes. It's so low. tuning is this? Fucking A? Lyrical twist. Lovely lyrical flip of the script there. Okay, is a poignant question to ask. We're now on an island in Hawaii. It's so beautiful. It's like a clean guitar over an acoustic. Sequel to My Chemical Romance. <laughs> I don't know why my brain just went there. <laughs> okay, we've got slow 80s ballad rock drumming. Yes, sir. Wow. 
What? What is going on? of that percussive hit at the start of that bar. Wow. Just please don't hide yourself again. Brought the emotive punch of country music to rock and metal. Fuck. I need a, I need a, I need a moment here. I had not planned on pressing pause at any point during this record. I want to hear the whole thing in one go. But I I I, I just wanted to call out one thing I thought of during that song. So. Two weeks before the album was released, or maybe it was one week, it was two weeks before, maybe it was one week, I don't know, one or two weeks before the album was released, um, there was a, like a secret preview album listening party that happened in London that certain Sleep Token fans got invited to. Only like 60 of them. My brother was one of them. I think they had to spend some money on the, their merch store, store or something online, I don't know, but anyway, he got invited to that. Um, and Vessel was apparently just sat on a chair on stage at, while everyone's just sat listening to the album from start to finish, and he just sat there and stared at them all. Most sleep token thing in the world. With his mask on, new mask, just kind of stared. And then did some like gesture at the end saying thanks, and then left. Um, bro, how did you not like just, was everyone just weeping? Like I didn't, re I had no idea this would be such a heartstring emotional kind of record at times. And uh, how the fuck did you survive? The intensity of that room with those songs. <laughs> It's fucking incredible. Okay, so yeah, I just thought, I just thought of that. It's kind of interesting. Okay. The Apparition. That's the next one. What's it like? Why are you never real Whenever you appear You leave me with that grace I am trembling with fear But I know Just as I awake. It's a clean guitar, but there's also a subtle layer backing it up. Keys. Ooh. Interesting notes. Scott 
Back to that R&B sexiness. The digital drums. Now, let's make trouble in the dream world. Hijack heaven with another memory. Go, I'll make them all stop the turning tide. It's just split. That's so cool. Left on the burning silence. Don't wait, because this could be the last time you turn. There's multiple vocal layers going on here, not just the harmony. This, you can play this trigger pad drum thing. But did, did he or did he just program it? It's jaunty. Not much distorted guitar work yet. There it is! Oh! Reminiscent of the Vore chorus. In tone and pace. But the bass! The bass in this! Sound is everything. High vocal. And it's not just sitting on the note. It's going around. Vocal so low. The mix here. It's like an echo. Two is subtly getting it done. It's a haunting keyboard part here. It's slightly off tune. Are we fading out? Interesting. Okay. Like a mixture between like granite and vor, that one for me. It's quite cool. Quite cool is an understatement, by the way. Ah, uh, a jaunty palette cleanser. I do love this song. It's so simple. Well, deceptively simple. It's, it's complex to put together, but... Do you roll with the waves? That vocal presence is massive. Do you duck into deep blue safety? Is it always the same? Do you wish that you loved me? Do you pull out the chains? You push into constant aching Each and every day Do you wish that you loved me? Interesting the variety of vocal mix levels and punches They're really playing around with this record Respect the hell out of it Is there something you give That you will never receive in return Do you know what it is Do you wish that you loved me Now are you trying to live Like everything is a lesson 
voices, man. Like that. Can you ever forgive Playing with the edits of his breath. You know what's that before? And the role of this. Syncopating over the main beat. That's what works, it's the layering of the rhythms. And harmony. around it. Getting harder to be Do you wish that you love me? Could we ever release? Is it better to just not feel? Could we hit delete? Do you wish that you love me? Okay, rain. For so long I have waited. So long that I almost became just a stoic statue fit for a So much great piano work in this record. The vicious cycle was over the moment she smiled at me. But it's the vocals that fucking make it work. And elevate it. And just like the rain, you cast the dust into nothing and wash out the This reminds me of the previous record a bit more. Previous two records, really. That bass. Yes. Yes. Stop. That fucking lyrical pattern. Oh shit. Good they are. They're not playing in the same field. The balance of that fucking meaty bass with the delicate vocal. Everything in between. The whole song, basically.
Could have added rain sound into it. Nice touch. <laughs> nice! Oh yeah, repeat that fucking rhythm and melody and vocal, lyric. They're so clever. Those bastards. Green vocal was coming up in that. It's there in the mix. Along with multiple vocal layers. The high one. Oh, he's up there. And then the rain. Fuck. Good shit. Only two more songs. No. Take me back to it. Okay, so title track. It's fucking over eight minutes long. Great way with words, as ever. like the uniqueness that can come out with Chords. So much space. 
Well, yeah, I spit blood when I wake up. Sink porcelain stain choking up brain matter and makeup. Just two days since the mainframe went down and I'm still messed up. Room feels like a knee freezer, I dangle in like cold cuts. Mess oh, yeah. cards, and phones from people I just don't trust. Merit talk, fake love, but I'll take a pound of your flesh. Fucking a you mile of your heart out. My paste up. White roses, black doves, got mother. Up. I need you to see me for what I have become My mind, those eyes like fire I'm a winged insect, your funeral pyre Come now, bite through these wires I'm a waking hell and the gods grow tired Reset my face in violence Oh my god Oh, that piercing clear note there. That was awesome. Some of the score reminds me of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was an influence. Fuck. <laughs> I guess it goes to show, does it not? The we've no idea what a we The way they can write melodies, my god! Fucking out the sucker punches. And I don't know what it's got its teeth in me, but I'm about to bite back in anger. <laughs> oh my god. Some of the things that Tim was doing on the drums, man. God, monstrously heavy. They've never been heavier than that. Woof. Absolutely absurd. Uh, one more song. 
Euclid. Oh, that's very pretty. Nice. Just run it by, gave me five all minutes. I am fixed out on the inside, burning. I've got a wow. ghost in the hallway, grinning, and a heavy head that it won't stop turning. If my fate is a bad collision, oh my god. It just doesn't let you go. Give me one last ride on a sunset sky lay. Call for me is returned. Oh. Oh my God. Amazing. Do you remember me? Ah! Come on! This is incredible. These ancient canopies The wow. way you still lay beneath No more, no The night belongs to you ah. Those bastards. <laughs> Fuck them. Wow.
What the fuck? That fucking completely floored me. Um, I struggled with that. I struggled to get through that. That was so fucking insane on so many levels, right? There's, it, what an incredible collection of music. Uh, the singles hinted at, like, hey, we're gonna put out some bangery, amazing songs, don't worry about it. But the emotional punches that came from the other songs on the album that we didn't hear before it came out, I was not prepared for at all. The beauty with which those melodies worked and the rhythmic choices over there, the patterns that went over, the heaviness of the guitars at times, the way they stripped back and had just the vocals to let you have a particular line that punches through, that calls back to something else. To finish that record, like apparently this is the third record in a trilogy of, that's their, their mindset for their albums so far, to call back to the moments from fucking years ago, I was, I was at an emotionally vulnerable point when that happened. And I was not able to handle that. Um, and not just that the fact that they called it back, hooray, clever, whatever, but just the, the way that they did it, the sort of, the way they mixed it and produced it was almost like it was calling from the distance, like the past. It was that, that level of detail and expression is what makes that exceptional, what makes that work and why it hits the way it does and why you can't compare anyone else to, to Sleep Token what they're doing. It is at a whole nother level. How the fuck do you write that and put that together and have it be so well balanced? It's not even just like, there's, there's some great artists who can write music of this type uh, and kind of long form sort of poetry content in, in the way that Sleep Token have done with some of their stuff. But the balance of also having that have punch, the fullness of the sound, the, the, the bravery and creativity to choose kind of modern R&B pop expressions and toolsmanship to like to express some of these things whilst also having the shoegazy fucking metal fall stuff and the screen vocals, everything is in there. It's not even really a genre in itself. It is just like the music of life. And that is unfathomably, incredibly genius. Like Vessel is a genius. Like for, for real, for real genius. And it feels very uh, lucky and fortunate to be able to be in a time where we're, that we're getting new music of this level at this, with this kind of, you know, genre fuse that, that there is and the emotive punches and the fact that like, they're not there going, hey, look at me, I'm now, you know, I'm famous and, and the rest, like they're anonymous. Like, I know who a couple of them are, but like the, to, for, to the world, they're not trying to do this seemingly for, that stuff, right? It's coming from within. It's, it's, it's a purpose that's higher than that. And that's what draws us into it. Um, yeah, for those, including my brother, who was at the, the listening party before the album came out with Vessel there on stage, how the fuck was everyone not just crying while, you know, with these painful lyrics are coming out and the joyful, gorgeous, harmonious music. And he's just sat there on stage. No wonder he wanted to do that. He wanted to have some sense of what what is a, what do people feel when you release music like this. Um, that must have been incredibly powerful. I can't even imagine. Uh, and I'm jealous as fuck that I couldn't go to that because that was amazing. Um, this was certainly worth the wait. I, I had to wait an agonizing week to do this reaction recording. And uh, just knowing that the new Sleep Token album was out there and I couldn't listen to it was fucking torture because I've loved everything that they've done and this did not disappoint. Um, wow, 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 fucking wow. Uh, man, Ascensionism really stood out. I don't know if it's because it was the first of the new songs I hadn't heard yet um, in this playlist, but I don't think it's just that. I think that whole song was amazing. Euclid was the most joyous fucking thing in the world. Um, Are You Really Okay was, was really pretty, delicately, brilliantly done, and uh, Take Me Back to Eden, the fucking heaviest thing they've ever done, ever, after just this massive, operatic, beautiful, uh, you know, storytelling that was going on in that song. I'm so excited now 
to just be able to put this album on a loop and, and just really get into the bones of it. Um, God, and, and the singles, you know, totally fit within it as well. There's a unified piece. The, the level of, of, of mix and, and, you know, composition and production that they put into this just, just seeps through every single song. But there's interesting choices in each one. That each song does stand out on its own, despite the same kind of playing field for the most part. But to, have, to be able to write that variety of song in a particular time in your life, when you're doing one record, with all those influences, make every song different and unique. There was only one song really, which kind of called that, was it Rain? Um, that had some moments, reminded me of the Vore chorus with a bit of um, granite. But other than that, just incredibly unique, brilliantly put together. And I mean by brilliantly, I just kind of mean flawless. It was a flawless album. I mean, the rating is obvious, if you're still here watching this, congratulations. Uh, it's like an hour and 10 minutes. Um, you could probably skip ahead. You're like, yeah, yeah, I've seen the songs I wanted to see, the moments I want to see, and now I'm skipping the rating. It's obviously a masterpiece, there's no question. There should be a category above masterpiece, which is just called Sleep Token, because um, that was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I, uh, I rarely will hear, mu like music is, is kind of, is obviously a huge part of my life, it has been for a long, long time. But rarely when I hear music for the first time do I want to fucking weep. Like that, that was unreal. Um, yeah, just quite, quite incredible. What an experience. I really, really, I really enjoyed that. That was phenomenal. So worth the wait. So worth the wait for that collection of masterpieces. I mean, album of the year. Yeah, yeah. Invent Animate was Phenomenal. That is a fantastic album. I love the shit out of that. Um, Sleep Token are on a whole nother universe. That's where they are. And uh, it's so incredible to be fortunate enough to, to hear this music at this time in, in, in our universe. That's fucking great. And I'm only just sad that I won't have any new Sleep Token songs for a while now. But I have so much to get into with these songs, I can't wait to just spin it on a loop, which I'm going to do very soon. Um, thank you for watching this. That was quite, quite something. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to send you more videos like this in future, then do boop the subscribe button. If you're interested in some additional content from me and some early video access, I have a Patreon page for as little as one pound a month where you can help support the channel. Either way, thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, and maybe I'll see you in another video.